Hey guys, Crow here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to discuss whether or not PPF is worth it. Uh, should you PPF a car? And on top of that, I'm going to be showing you guys the difference between a good install and a bad install. When you PPF a car, you have to make sure your installer knows what he's doing and he tucks in the edges. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I mean by that and let's jump right into it. All right, guys. So the GT4 just got wrapped full body PPF. I'm going to show you... Uh, the install process of this on what I don't like about it. The Corvette is also wrapped PPF in the front and that Tesla over there is not wrapped. So let me go ahead and jump right into what I mean by finding a good installer. So when looking for an installer on your PPF, you wanna make sure your edges are tucked. So as you guys can see right here, the edges are tucked in. You can't even tell the PPF is on there. You really wanna make sure when you're dropping a lot of money that they tuck in the edges. So when asking around for a quote, tell them you want a custom cut. Do not do a pre-cut. Most uh, PPF shops and installers, they use pre-cut kits, which show the seam. And the problem with that is when the car gets really dirty, you'll see the seams and it's absolutely disgusting. So one example of a bad install is right here. You guys can see the seam shows. This is a terrible job. So make sure your installer doesn't use pre-cuts. And when they use pre-cuts, they're going to have... Pretty much that seam right there throughout your entire car. Now if we jump right into my Z06, uh, this installer, OC Detailing of Fremont, they did an uh, incredibly good job. You can't even tell that the front bumper was PPF. There's absolutely no seam. They really did a good job tucking it in. So I'm very happy with this install, whereas um, Elite Auto Concepts and Concord, they did a pretty good job too, but the front bumper is atrocious and they gotta redo that. But you can tell that the PPF was installed beautifully. The reason I'm telling you guys this is I don't want you to make the same mistake I made. I had a 370Z Nismo, it was a full body PPF, it was a pre-cut kit, nothing was tucked. And within two years later, I ripped off the whole PPF. I got it completely removed. The edges were so dirty, it was so black on all the corners that no pressure washer, no amount of soap could have got it out. So it really bothered me. And at the end of the day, it was all money wasted. Whereas if it was actually wrapped correctly, done by a good installer, it would have still been on there. Okay, now let's talk about price and should you or should you not PPF your car? Believe me, I wasted a lot of money. I don't want you guys to make the same mistake. So let me tell you right off the bat, there's two factors that you should pay attention to when getting your car wrapped. First and foremost, if your car is used and there's already rock chips on it, do not PPF it at all. It's already chipped up, who cares, just drive it. Second factor is your vehicle value. If your car is like 20 or $30,000, at the very least, just do the bumper if it's not already chipped. If you bought a brand new car and it costs 40, 50, 60 grand, only do the front end. And what I mean by front end is do the bumper, do the fenders, do the hood. A lot of people do a half hood, do not do that. Like I said, you're gonna see that seam, so make sure you do the full hood and the mirrors. So mirrors, hood, fenders, bumper. If your car is like new and 40 to 60K. Now, if your car is over six figures, like this GT4, it's 130 grand. A vehicle like this, especially like the Rarity, you wanna do a full body PPF. And also if you plan on keeping it forever. I plan on keeping this car forever if there's no accidents. Um, pretty much I decided to wrap the entire car because I know I'm never going to sell it. And I want it to stay as pristine as possible. Whereas if I'm going to plan on selling it within a year or two, it would be a dumb idea to do a full body PPF. So here's an example of a vehicle I would not do a full body PPF on. This is a Model 3 Performance. Brand new out the door, ran about 72 grand before they really marked up the prices. At the very least, uh, if you're really OCD and you plan on keeping this car for a very long time, just do the front end, that's all you need. Do not do a full body on a Model 3. I see so many people doing that and it doesn't make sense because like you're eventually gonna trade it in and you're probably gonna get a new Tesla and in California, a full body PPF typically runs around six to $9,000 depending on if it's pre-cut or uh, custom cut. So do not do a full body on a car like this. Whereas if you had a Model S Plaid, a car over 100K and you plan on keeping it for a very, very long time, then that's worth it. 
Okay, so my Z06 does not have a full body PPF. It just has a front bumper PPF. It has the uh, black accents wrapped, pretty much all the high impact zones. Uh, the rest of the car is not PPF. So let me show you the bumper after 30,000 miles. It still looks incredibly good. There's no rock chips. A lot of this is just dirt, but there's no chipped parts of the bumper. So the PPF really did its magic. Whereas right here by the fender, you're gonna see I don't know if the camera will catch it, but there's a lot of rock chips right here. This part's not PPF, so unfortunately, this part's chipped and there's nothing I can do about it. So, and again, I paid around 70 grand for this car used, so I didn't want to do the whole car. So I just had a vinyl wrap done. So on average, PPF can last you between six to 10 years. A lot of modern films and installers give you a 10 year warranty. And you can see this PPF is around three years old and still looks good. The hood is also PPF'd right here on the black part, and there's not a single rock chip. So you guys don't really have to worry about durability. Um, if you have a good installer, then it should be really durable and last you a very long time. By the way, vinyl wrap does help somewhat when it comes to rock chips. It doesn't give as good protection as PPF does, since the material on a PPF is a lot thicker, usually eight mils, whereas a vinyl wrap is around three to five, depending on the material. And just remember, if your car is not PPF'd and you have rock chips, don't feel bad. Even with the full body PPF, you can still get the PPF material torn like I did on my Nismo. My passenger side door had a six inch tear. A big rock really damaged it on the highway. So a high impact damage like that, nothing will save you. 95% of the time, PPF does its job, but you're going to have that 5% chance of something tearing and then eventually if that bothers you you have to go back to the shop pay more money to get it removed and then reinstalled i'm not trying to discourage you guys from getting your car ppf but i just want you to be aware of all the possibilities ppf is not no magical thing that you can just go on any highway tailgate semi trucks be immune to rocks 95 percent of the time you can but you always run a risk of still having damage to your car but overall i would still say it's 100 percent worth getting your car ppf again based on value and if it's already new and not chipped and one last thing I want to talk about is ceramic coating and the cleaning factor of PPF. So usually if you were to do a full body PPF, I highly recommend you guys add one layer of ceramic coating on top. And what that does is it makes cleaning your car a lot easier. Uh, it has like a buttery smooth feel to the panels. So if water were to go on here or anything, it just beads right off. It's so much easier to clean a vinyl wrap or a PPF car versus naked paint, even without ceramic coating. It's still a lot easier. On paint, you're gonna have tree sap, um, bird poop, and all this debris. And sometimes you have to really scrub to get it off, which you might scratch your clear coat. So with PPF and its self-healing technology, you don't have to worry about that. One thing you should be very careful of is white vehicles. If you're gonna PPF a white car like I did, you do run the risk of having the film turn yellow. That happened to my Nismo. After about two years, it turned really yellow. So when I tore it off, I was extremely shocked to see the white car again. I thought it was always that off white yellow look, but the PPF did degrade over time. So that's where a good installer comes into play. Um, if they install it correctly and you add a layer of ceramic coating, It'll help block some of the UV rays that degrade the material over time. So just keep in mind, no matter what the companies say, uh, no matter what film, Expel, Aztec, Lumar, like mine is, you run that risk of having yellow film over the years. Whereas other colors like black, red, blue, green, you're not gonna really notice that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about PPF film or vinyl wrap, you plan on getting your car PPF soon, drop a comment below. I will answer any and all questions you guys have. I love to engage with my viewers. So if you have any questions or concerns that I did not cover in this video, drop a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And with that being said, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.